Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again, and this is episode number 43, the question of my What Is It Mystery Tools series. And uh, stay tuned for the answers here uh, coming up very soon. But I've been thinking about changing the format of this series because people do not seem to be interested in the question. They only want the answers, or in other words, they only want me to discuss the tools. So put that in the comments uh, in regards to what your preferences are for that. And please read through comments on all of my videos. Yeah, I think you'll find very interesting uh, material. Well, today I've got about five different items here, and let's start out with coal chisels, which was a most popular item in the last one, and it surprised the heck out of me. These are cape chisels that was in the last uh, episode, and I was very surprised at how many people knew what that was. Matter of fact, virtually everybody knew. I didn't think they even still made them, but I looked it up in Amazon just today. McMaster Car and, let's see, MSC, and they all list a... Uh, these in many different brands and many different sizes. McMaster Car, I think it was McMaster Car, refers to it as a slot cutting chisel. Now there are a lot of different uses for this, but I showed you an example of a keyway. Someone said this is nothing more than a super narrow coal chisel, and to some extent, you know, you're you're correct on that, but of course any coal chisel can be purchased in different widths. All right, that's that's old news here. Let's talk about these chisels, and I didn't have a lot of examples of these, but they also are still available. And look at the way the tip is ground. All of the major tool companies still offer these. And again, I guess this is probably too easy to even uh, uh, show you, but what is this called? What kind of chisels are these? Bubba, I want some answers from you. What are these called? What are they used for? Again, I always like to put a few tools in here that are easy, that people can get so they have some satisfaction. This is a cheap looking stamped tool. I covered up the trademark. What is that used for? It's kind of a throwaway thing, but would be very useful in the trade for which it is used probably under ten dollars. Here's an interesting one that I found at a garage sale. You may remember the sale where I showed this. It's made of aluminum. Obviously it's some kind of wrench. I covered up several marks here that would probably give it away. But on this end there is, uh, I don't know what you call that, what it's for. And on this end, it looks like a spanner right here that would fit several different sizes and then a big hex right here. Obviously, being made out of aluminum, it would be pretty weak right here. So whatever it's used for wouldn't be uh, something that required a great deal of strength or torque to loosen or tighten, or it would instantly snap off. So what is that little beauty? This is not part of it, but did you watch my video where I unbox this? And uh, You know, the only thing I don't like about some of these modern tools is they think they need to make them look like tennis shoes. Nikes or something like that. Although they would have very attractive appeal to somebody on the store shelf. But you'll be seeing me use this in, in lots of videos. Well, what I really wanted to show you here was this, and I don't know what it is. I have no clue. It's about a foot long. I don't know what that ring is for, just to hang it up or if it has any use. This is a left hand thread in here, of course, so that it will move in the correct direction without being confusing. And this is a bit of a ratchet. This one is well used. It's been around the block, but it's still in good condition. I tend to think it's got something to do in the automotive industry. Kind of crudely made, unless that's been damaged by use. Castellated nut here, so it won't come loose. 
No trademark, no name on it. What is that thing? Here's an interesting tool that will stump all of you. I have no idea what it is, and it was given to me or loaned to me, I guess given to me by Terry Plata from Texas when he visited me in September. And he said he had it hanging on his wall forever. Didn't know what it was, so decided to take it down and give it to me. It looks like a two-handed tool that sharpened here on the end from both sides. You know, to me it looks like something you would push on and draw, but why you wouldn't go in both directions. Brass ferrule. Looks like it's split. But overall in pretty good condition. No markings, no maker's name on it. But obviously an antique tool. Now I know there's some guys out there from Midwestern uh, Midwest Tool Collectors Society here that will know what this is. But I, I'm, I'm clueless, but it is interesting. I thank you Terry for donating that for the good of the cause. Alright, be sure and watch the follow-up video which is 43B. We'll reveal the answers and thank you for watching. Tell your friends about my videos.